Hello and welcome to Magnet and Miracles. This is just a quick video about some general design advice for Empyreon or any other game revolving about construction and creativity. So let's go! Hint 1. Always design with meaning in mind. Example. Build doors to generic places like the kitchen, in just a normal way. Then use your construction options to highlight important places like the bridge of a ship. This example shows the door to the bridge section of my light cruiser. You can find the Steam Workshop link to it in the description below. As you can see, I've embedded the door into the wall, which makes the wall look thicker and more important. If you keep this principle in mind when designing your own stuff, you'll create kind of a natural navigation advice system for people who don't know their way around. Hint 2. Use textures in creative ways. In this example, I've wrapped a standard wall light texture around pipes and colored them the same color of the warp drive. This makes the whole construction look more realistic. Hint 3. Think of new ways to place objects. This warp fuel tank is mounted on the ceiling. Usually, you would place it standing upright somewhere in a corner. In this case, it looks like it's injecting the fuel directly into the warp drive, which looks way better. Hint 4. Cover up what you messed up. Behind those wall panels are directional thrusters. I wanted to create a ship which wouldn't decompress if only one thruster was destroyed. So I needed to cover them up. These textures make it look like some kind of wall mounted device. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Hint 5. Build airlocks. You enter the bridge through two doors. This gives the impression of some kind of security check and makes the bridge entrance more believable. Hint 6. Imagine people at work. I've built the bridge with actual people working there in mind. The captain should sit a bit elevated, the pilot needs the best vision if he's forced to fly without instruments and so on. Again, it makes it look more realistic in the end. Hint 7. Refer to real life. People love things they already know, therefore I use shutter doors as a hangar entrance. Shutter doors look technical and make people think of industry and engineering. Hint 8. Cover up again what you messed up. I needed a flat roof to keep the ship streamlined. To cover up its edges sticking out of the ceiling, I just textured them to look like hangar lighting. Problem solved. Hint 9. Use transparent materials as a guidance system. If people see what's behind the door, they know what's behind the door. Keeps inconvenience down while exploring a new ship or building. Hint 10. Separate areas by their looks. I've decided to go with round soft lights in the sick bay because it separates it from the military and industrial look of the rest of the ship. That's an easy way to make rooms look more relaxed and casual. Extra hint. Create recognizable styles. Below these pipes is one of the main thrusters. Remember the pipes leading to the warp drive? If you keep this principle in mind, you'll create a distinctive style which adds a harmonic look to the whole construction. Also again, it eases navigation and lets people know where embedded objects may be located. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it to be helpful in any way, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Magnets and Miracles.